Things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 36. You don't have to settle for boring posts. You can create animated content like this in either the free or pro version of Canva. Add a Canva frame to your page and give it a border. Now duplicate the frame and make it a little bit smaller. Place it just to the right of your first frame. Duplicate again and make it smaller. Place that to the right of your second frame. Duplicate both of these frames and place them on the other side so everything is even. Take that last frame, duplicate one more time, and make it smaller. Place this frame in between these last two frames. Repeat this process so that you have smaller frames in between all of the others. Highlight those four smallest frames and send them to the back, and change the transparency to 50. Go to the Elements tab, grab some images to place in your frames. I have nine images because I have nine frames and I made them all smaller so that you can see the process. Next, duplicate your page and duplicate for as many frames as you have. I have nine frames, so I'm going to duplicate so I have nine pages. Back on page one, take that first image and drag it into the far right frame of that front row. Go to page two and now move the image one frame over. In this case, it's going into that back row. Page three, once again, you're gonna take it and place it into the next frame over. And keep repeating this process for all of your pages, moving the image one frame over each time. Now, when you scroll through the pages, the image moves from place to place for each page. Go back to page one, and now you can place the rest of your images after this first image. Use this as your placeholder and just continue to place all of the other images in reverse order until they fill all of the frames. Then you'll go to page two and continue the process, putting everything in reverse order so that each one falls in the frame. With all of your images placed, click on the transition option right here that says add transition. Select match and move. Set this duration to one second and put it between all pages. Highlight all of your pages and set the duration to 1.5 seconds. Add some text to page one and copy it. Then click on the grid view option and select each page and just paste that text on each of the pages. When you're finished, click on duration and then just click play. I'd love to know if you plan on trying this yourself, so tell me in the comments below.